All right, time for another one. Today, we are going to be seeing what would happen if every team's starting goaltender was placed in free agency. I honestly don't know if half of those words came out correctly. It felt like no, but I'm listening to music, so I really <laughs> I don't know. I'm just going to hope for the best. Before we get started, guys, I'm curious. Who do you think would be the most affected by this, and who do you think would be the least affected? I think least, the Golden Knights would definitely have to be up there, because they got a nasty duo with Fleury and Leonard, so... I don't know. I was trying to think of a team that would be very affected. The team that first came to my mind was Montreal, but... Yeah, I, I don't know. Maybe, but... There's probably teams that would be affected worse. Anyway, it's probably going to happen a lot where they don't have... Yep, first team. They don't have two playable goalies. So I'm going to have to just scroll down and give them a not-so-great goalie. Jeff Glass for Gibson. That seems like a fair trade, right? Yeah. I'm going to say, yeah, let's finish that transaction. So I remember I did this on NHL 20 as well. And I don't remember. I just went by who played more games in the previous season. So I'm going to do the same here. So it looks like... Uh, in the 1920 season, Ranta played 33 games and Kemper played 29. So it looks like Ranta headed to free agency. Gonna need to put a goalie, of course. Obviously, Tuka Rask. Obviously, need a goalie. I'm pretty sure I end up running out of goalies in free agency. And I end up having to go grab a goalie from just some other league, basically. I honestly just keep forgetting that Markstrom is now on the flames. Like, that is just weird. Oh, yeah, Corey Crawford's gone. So, the Chicago Blackhawks have Malcolm Subban as their starting goaltender. Interesting. Another combo here. I want to say that Corpy Solo is the starter, but I'm going to go look at starts. So, Corpy Solo started 37 and Merzlikens 33. I feel like Merzlikens did get injured or something and that caused that, but I'm going to stay consistent. They're the same overall. Doesn't really matter anyway. I think I found a much more efficient way to do this. Watch, this is going to be the time it doesn't work. Yeah, I don't think they have two goal or more than two goalies in their AHL. Oh, come on. It's been working every other time. I mean, it also really does not help that EA's menus are janky. So <laughs> it's pretty tough. But anyway, you know, it is what it is. So yeah, there's Y, which is dropped to free agency. I totally forgot that button existed. So basically, I've just been sending up a goalie from their AHL team. Because for the most part, they have three. And then I just... Don't even have to go to free agency and do the transaction. I just move them down and then hit Y and see you later, bud. Also, one thing I did, because Henrik Lundqvist isn't actually going to be playing this season, I put him down to, I think it was 71 overall or something. Um, and then I'll be dropping Samsonov for the Capitals. I don't know if there's any other situations as of when I'm recording this where something like that might be happening, but, you know. Well, it was working for a bit, but now I'm struggling to find teams that have three goalies again. I almost feel like I would have been better off just creating a bunch of 36 overall default goalies and then doing it that way. Come on, Bridgeport, please have three goalies. One, two. No. Holy crap, I feel like I'm running out entirely, and I'm only at the Islanders. Okay, I do see two other goalies still left in free agency, so I'm going to try using those two next. Okay, apparently the Ottawa Senators have three goalies in here. So I learned something today. They got... Well, he should be on Tampa Bay, technically, but I'm over it. <laughs> I don't really care. I mean, listen, they're not going to do anything with a 79 overall goaltender anyway, so they're probably going to sign someone or they're going to suck, you know? While I'm down here in free agency, let's see how many more goalies I do have to assign. That might have been the last one. Uh, Okay, I see at least one more. Two. Okay, looking good. Not bad. I think... I think that's it. I think there's two. I'm pretty sure the Penguins just have Jari into Smith. Yep. Unfortunate. Also, Craig Anderson is in free agents here, but I believe he's with the Capitals. So, I'm going to try that. Oh, there was another goalie. Okay. So, we got one more in free agency. I There might even be another one I missed. Who knows at this point? Oh, I found two more. Awesome. Okay. So, instead of looking for the position, I was looking at the type and trying to find hybrid butterfly or stand-up. I think that's the only three. And watch. It's right there, right? Goalie's right there? Nope. Because it's in the game, everyone. The Leafs? Anderson just went right through. I'm trying to think of their other two goalies. I know that they got Dell, but who else is up here? I... That's what I'm trying to figure out. Oh, Campbell, I forgot about him. And the Canucks with the recently signed Braden Holpe. That's not going to work, so I'm going to have to... Hopefully, their AHL team has another goalie. Three teams left. 
we can do this. I think I have to go with Robin Leonard, even though he is, you know, under flurry. The whole stab in the back thing, it just makes sense. I think he's got to be the starter. I actually had no idea that the Henderson Silver Knights were in this game, so that's pretty sick. But are they going to have three goalies? Very unlikely. Oh, they actually do. Fire me up. And then drop Leonard to free agency. Yes, sir. So technically, Samsonov is a starter because I made Lundqvist like 71 overall. We're so close. But so far, there's got to be one for the Capitals. I, I saw one. I saw a G. Yes, sir, I did. Connor Hellebuck. Of course. Of course. The Wild Wings are clutch. They had a third goalie. I swear I tried them before. But anyway, let's go over to Hellebuck. Drop to free agency. And let's go check out the free agents just to make sure I didn't screw anything up. Okay, let's scroll through here quick. So I'm going to count after. But I just want to make sure that there's no one standing out that shouldn't be here, like, player-wise. In case I accidentally dropped a player because of the menus being weird and not really working i'm pretty sure hoffman signed with the blues is that like official i know he signed a pto anthony duclair signed with the panthers too i believe so maybe i'll make that move while i'm here craig anderson i want to put him on the capitals before i forget as well so washington you know what screw it i'm just gonna send it anyway st louis blues let's go put hoffman on there florida panthers let's put duclair actually while i'm here i'm almost positive i saw that sammy vatanen re-signed with the new jersey devils on a one-year deal so I guess I'll, I'll go do that. Pro Granlin's probably on a team too, honestly. Oh, he signed December 23rd, 2020. A one-year 3.75 with the Predators again? Okay. Well then, I will do that. Okay, I've counted 31 goalies, so I think we're good. Honestly, some of these other players probably say, it's, I'm just, you know what? I'm over it right now. Maybe if EA updated the rosters more, I wouldn't have to do this. I don't know why I'm just attacking EA today. I don't know what happened, but I'm just all over them for some reason. I'm sorry. Okay, we finally get to go into franchise mode and see who signs who. Okay, so I am fired up. So once again, we're going to go with the same strategy here. I will be the Seattle Kraken so that we can start in the off-off season. And that way it gives the teams the most time possible to sign goaltenders. You know, it's just how she goes. I mean, in this case, it's goaltenders, but I guess other times it's just players or free agents. Okay, that's who they're signing. I'm going to have the team auto-drafted again here just to see what happens. I'm assuming I'm going to get JVR probably and a bunch of defensemen, but I suppose we will find out. I also totally forgot. I'm really hoping the green screen doesn't pick this up. Ooh, we got second pick. Love to see it. But yeah, I remember that happened one time. It was, you know, parts of the video, the bill of my hat was kind of like transparent because the green screen effect sort of picked it up. Sim entire draft. Yes. Let's do it. Who'd we get? JVR? Oh no, we got Ratcliffe from the Philadelphia Flyers. Louis Erickson? What? Okay. Well, let's sim their pick. Medium franchise Dansk. Well, I wish we got pick number one now. Holy crap. I mean, that is ridiculous. I don't know who to take. I'm actually panicking right now. Because this is scout rank three, but then two, and then this is two, three, three. You know, we're going to have lots of defensemen. I'm going to take a risk here. And I'm going to take Yuri Jass. <laughs> that's quite the name. 72 overall medium elite. Don't like to see that. Oh, that's rough. Okay, well, it didn't make much of a difference anyway. Well, I have everything set to auto, so I'm just going to sim past everything. Well, you know what? I'll sim up to free agency so we can go in and look just to make sure all the goalies are there again, as we always do. Sign free agents. I mean, I'm not doing it. If our computer wants to do it, then by all means, but I'm not doing it. So yeah, they're all here. Okay, cool. All right, here's our fantastic team. We have a retired player. Um, wow, that's quite the, quite the expansion draft you did there, computer. No, no, I'm really proud of you. Yeah, I don't think we signed anyone. So, there it is. If we do good, I will be blown away. All right, let's check around the league. See where... Actually, you know what? First and foremost, I'm going to go back to free agency just to see if anybody went unsigned. I was going to say undrafted, but then I was like, nope, that does not make sense. Just in case you were wondering what was going on in my head, you know? But, um, wow. That's all I'm going to say. A lot of goalies didn't get taken. Carey Price is still here. And he wants 4.3. Tuka Rask wants 3.3. Freddy's still here. We got Matt Murray, Ranta. Oh my, holy crap, man. You know what? I'm going to back out. I'm going to go turn salary cap off. 
Or should I? I don't think I am going to do that, actually, because the kind of whole premise of the video is just to see what would happen if everybody's goalie ended up in free agency. So, yeah, it's not anything to do with players signing. You know what I mean? So let's just go view the lines and see who did pick up goalies. Braden Holpe is now on the Mighty Ducks of Anaheim. So there we go. There's the first one. They are going to keep Darcy Kemper as the starting goaltender here on Arizona, which can't really blame them. Yaroslav Halak will be the starter for the Bruins. Gibson and Shesterkin both went to the Buffalo Sabres. Oh, wow. That's quite the goaltender duo. Carolina is going to be rocking Peter Mrazek. And then Columbus picked up Jordan Binnington. And Merzlikens will be... Backing him up, Ben Bishop and Katahat are on the Calgary Flames. Wow, so a lot of teams seem to pick up multiple goalies here. Chicago did not pick up any. They're going to have Colin D'Elia, I believe that's how it's pronounced anyway. And Francis will be starting for the Avalanche, so they didn't pick up a goalie either. Dobby will be there for the Dallas Stars, they did not pick anyone up. Markstrom will be for the Detroit Red Wings, so there's a big signing for them. Mike Smith, so nope. No signings in terms of goaltenders. Anyway, I don't know. I'm not looking at the rest of the lineup for the Edmonton Oilers. Florida picked up Malcolm Subban. Interesting. And they got Montembeau to back him up. The LA Kings picked up Connor Hellebuck. That's great for them. No pickup for the Wild. Robin Leonard and Corey Crawford are headed to Montreal. The Devils are going to go with Mackenzie Blackwood, which I mean, I didn't, I believe I saw something about Corey Crawford being out to start the season, but I don't exactly know, so I didn't really commit to it. But either way, yeah, maybe Wedgwood should have been the starter, but it is what it is. Thomas Grice will now be the starting goaltender for the Nashville Predators. The Islanders are going to stick with Varlama, but they did pick up Cam Talbot as a backup, so there you have it. No pickups for the Rangers. The Ottawa Senators also did not pick any goalies up, which is kind of shocking to me. Samsonov headed over to the Philadelphia Flyers. Craig Anderson. Did I not assign him to the Capitals? Did they make a trade? I'm so lost. Vasilevsky will be playing for the San Jose Sharks. So they replaced Dubnik with Vasilevsky. That's quite the replacement there. Jari will be playing for the Blues. On the Tampa Bay Lightning, they've got McElhaney. So they did not pick up any goaltenders. Toronto will be... Rocking Aaron Dell and Jack Campbell's the backup. Vancouver picked up Bobrovsky and Dubnik. So they got two great goalies there as well. The Golden Knights did not pick up anybody. They will have Flower backed up by Dansk. We only have a couple teams left here. No pickups for the Winnipeg Jets. And the Washington Capitals also did not pick anyone up. All right, so there you have it. So based off that, guys, who do you think did, be did the best? Who really benefited from this after those signings so definitely some teams that got the goaltender pairs because that's just going to be ridiculous no matter whether you're going against the starter or the backup it's going to be a tough night I'm trying to remember what happened in the NHL 21 but I think Carey Price was the only goalie that went unsigned in that one as far as I can remember wow our team's actually doing good I should just never doubt the computer again ever honestly or should I things are taking a turn here TSN turning point. So far, no coaches have been fired, so I guess uh, everyone's pretty happy with how their teams are doing. Didn't the Kings get two goalies, or am I thinking of another team? I don't know. <laughs> There's just, I, there was too much going on. I know Buffalo got two, I think. <laughs> so confident in that answer. You know what? Let's enter the trade deadline. I'm just curious to see who's there. Let's find out. Keith Yandel's on the block. Krejci's on the block, apparently. That's good to know. Carter Hart. I don't know. I can't say it like that. It just sounds weird. Catahat is on the block here for the Calgary Flames. And the Senators, which I don't think they signed someone. And that was surprising to me. I'm pretty sure all three of those teams interested did not sign anyone. Yeah, Ottawa is definitely looking for a goalie because Bennington is also on their watch list. And is there any other goalies here that we should take note of? Varlamov, I guess. But yeah, there you have it. Oh, Chicago ended up getting Carter Hart. Every time. Every time. I feel like it has to do with saying the whole name. Like, if I just say Chicago got heart in a second, that sounds fine. Like, I wouldn't say hat. <laughs> but when you say the full name, you gotta say kata hat. Anyway. Yeah. So, heart and a second are going to Chicago. And then Dylan Strome going to Calgary. And still no coaches fired. 
So that is actually kind of impressive. So yeah, we are not making the playoffs. We had a bit of a good run there and truthfully, team still did better than I expected them to. So I'm proud of you, Seattle. Oh, I forgot to check the stats, but yeah, I guess we'll go do that before we finish this off here. The Capitals, did they sign someone? I don't remember. Krejci put up 88 points? That is unbelievable. So the Ducks ended up with 109 points. The Sabres did as well, and so did the Penguins. Capitals with 107. The Canucks had 99. Leafs 98. I'll just kind of scroll down here so you guys can see all of the teams. The 19th placed Chicago Blackhawks make it into the playoffs. It's so weird how that works, but... It is what it is, and there you have it. Yeah, Capitals just rocked Phoenix Copley, and the guy lit it up. Had 41 wins on the season. Halak as well with 40, and then Braden Holpe with the Ducks put up 39. This is shocking. The Buffalo Sabres had Gibson with 39. Peter Mrazic, like it's mostly goalies on their regular team. I am so lost. Bishop on Calgary put up 33. So yeah, we're starting to find some more of the goalies that actually got signed from free agency here. Anyway, let's see who wins the Stanley Cup. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if it ends up being a team that didn't pick up a goalie because I know the Capitals are still in it. This video has just been weird. Honestly, that's the best way to put it. Yeah, the Capitals win. Didn't sign a goalie. Just had Phoenix Copley. Took them all the way to the Stanley Cup. Okay, well, let's check out the awards and see what happened here. But I don't think that any of the goalies on these other teams really did much, honestly. From the Okay, never mind. Braden Holpe got the Vesna and the William M. Jennings for the Ducks. So there you have it. And here is the playoff tree. So that's it. I don't even know what to say about this one. This one was strange, to say the least. I don't know what's going on, but I feel like a lot of goalies didn't sign. And on top of that, a lot of teams, or sorry, I shouldn't say a lot, but a fair amount honestly got two goalies. And then a team with an 81 overall goaltender that didn't sign anyone from free agency goes on to win the Stanley Cup. All right. Well, anyways, guys, thank you for watching this one. This one was kind of strange, but hopefully you still enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to leave a like, and it'd be great if you could subscribe as well. But yeah, leave suggestions down below for other kind of what-if scenarios you want me to do and stuff like that. And yeah, I'll be seeing you guys in the next video.